Welcome back. I'm glad to have you here to work on this idea journal with me, which will hopefully be the key to my success in keeping myself organized. And today we're going to start with decorating these tabs that are going inside the journal to organize my thoughts based on medium or technique. So these are the next three that we will be doing. We're going to start with the clay tab. My name is Peg, and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I have a very eclectic taste. I like to experiment and explore. If you like that, going across different mediums, hit that subscribe button. And, of course, the notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. There are other places you can find me on the web, my website, Facebook group, and, of course, Instagram. So this is the cover of that book. We've decorated the two, the inside front and the inside back with two pockets. These are the tabs that we prepared in the first video with their background and kind of foundational piece to go inside this book. So this is how they'll fit inside. So let's set the front cover and back cover aside and get to work on these tabs. Each of these have been coated or covered with book page and a bit of texture paste. This magazine page has been lying in my house while my husband has read through it cover to cover, and I have really been attached to the front cover of this magazine page and it actually is the inspiration for the colors that I'm using on this journal. So I'm going to cut the front cover out. I'm ripping it with my tear ruler now just to get it down to the proper size and get it where I I want it so I get the most of of the space. So I'm just positioning it. I'm going to flip it over and just draw around the outside edges to give me a guideline on where to cut. And then we will cut that out and glue it to the front, front of this tab. And by penciling around or inking around that outside edge. It just, you know, kind of makes it easier, a lot less trimming once you get it glued on. So there, that will fit. And then we just glue that down with some glitter glue. And there, now I'm going to flip it over and just trim off any excess that is tipping out across the edges. And we'll be good to start decorating. So the first thing I want to do is add some texture. I'm pulling a stencil out and the texture paste. I'm going to just grab some of that texture paste on this hotel key card and just drag it through that stencil. And I want to cover up the words that were on that magazine cover. I just want the face. So this is going to be my first step in disguising some of those title tags that were on the uh, magazine cover. And there we go. So we'll let that dry. And I'm wanting to add quite a bit of texture to this book. So I am cutting out some cheesecloth that has been tea stained 
or coffee stained. I believe I used coffee to stain that. And I'm just cutting that to size, just kind of feeling out what I want to do. And I'll lay that aside. Once the texture paste is dried, I'm going to take a sandpaper and lightly coat over the top of it to, you know, rid myself of any pieces that might not be adhered right. And now I'm just dragging some of that color with the hotel key card across that texture paste. And I chose to use that raw umber. And I'm just going to go ahead and coat a few more of these while I have some paint left. And now I'm going to title, title this tab. And I'm writing clay because this is going to be the section where I'm going to keep my ideas on air dry clay projects or my thoughts. And this is just a, a journal for me to gather my ideas and perhaps write down what I, what I found was useful, tips, techniques, you know, just, just a little book to collect thoughts. I'm going to ink around the outside edges of that. Distress it a bit with that vintage photo. And we'll set that aside for a minute until we, f we finish here. Coming back with some yellow ochre after that first coat of paint had settled in and dried a bit. And there, I'm happy with that. And now to add the patina paste. This is that light texture paste that creates that patina effect. And I am just rubbing that on with my fingers and setting that aside and letting it to cure out and dry. And once it has all dried, I'm coating everything with this Mod Podge hard coat. I really like the finish that gives. And this is the finish I'm using for this particular project. Now that that's dry, I'm going around the outside edge with the black ink just to frame everything in. And that hard coat Mod Podge gives us a real substantial feel. And now let's put the cheesecloth into place, our title tag, clay up there atop, and let's add some cheesecloth onto the back as well. Let's get that glued into place. Trim it up a bit, fray out those edges so we get those nice threads. And that's how to look tucked down inside this journal. So I'm starting to be happy with this. I want to give my, my title a little coat of hard coat to protect it. Just looking it over, trying to decide what to do. I think it needs a little more. I think I'm going to put some inspirational quotes from artists on here. This one is by Einstein. It says, creativity is intelligence, having fun. I like that one. I'm going to ink around the outside edges of that, distress it up a bit, and we'll get that glued down. There we go. I like it placed vertically. I think we're starting to get there. Hit that with a coat of that uh, Mod Podge hard coat.
And now I'm going to add a grommet on that outside edge. So I'm getting out my, I can't think of what that's called right now, crocodile. Getting that crocodile out, putting the hole in, and then putting the grommet in and switching that over to press that grommet into place. And I am grabbing some sari silk that I'm going to tuck through that little hole and just loop through. And that will create a little bit more peeking out of the edge of the journal, which I like. We'll trim that up to an appropriate size. And I want to add this little copper charm. This was over on the jewelry side of my my shop. It I got into these little copper charms and I stamped cinnamons on them. And they were a quick and easy thing to make and they sold really inexpensively and well. And I just have a few of them that didn't exactly come out as nice as I wanted, but are certainly appropriate for for journal placement. So this one, I believe, has the word love stamped on it, and we'll just stick that right there on the corner of this tab. And it's mellowed out and aged and patinaed. So I like that as well. And now I'm going to grab some of my liquid pearls. I love these copper liquid pearls. I think I use that color more than anything. And I'm just going to continue to decorate with those. And I'm putting it on that piece of copper as well. And that will complete this particular tab. We're going to take these tabs one at a time. This is the clay tab. We'll be working on gel press and caustic medium and other techniques or other ideas. We'll take them one at a time to not overwhelm you with all of them in one video. The next one up is going to be this one for gel press. I hope you'll come back and join me. Once again, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. We just hit 2,000 subscribers, so I'm very grateful for that and very thankful. If you'd like to join me in the Facebook group, come on over and you know join that community as well. I appreciate it. Love your comments. The likes always help me. So once again, very appreciative. Thank you, and bye.